Now, as I mentioned earlier back, uh, Nicholas Cage, back in the news, you heard this story, right? He was mm -hmm. having an argument, I think, in New Orleans. Uh, he was. Yeah, and uh, he was arrested for disturbing the peace. And, uh, well, now, maybe he was just drunk and causing a scene. We don't know. But I think whatever was happening there, uh, Nick Cage was doing an important public service by reminding everybody of the Department of Homeland Security's new Nick Cage terror alert system. Okay, this is... Yeah. We've gone over this before. The Department of Homeland Security, uh, they're getting rid of their color-coded terror alert system that we've been kind of getting used to. They're replacing it with a new system based on the films of Nicolas Cage. <laughs> because our nation's security is a lot like Nick Cage movies. Most of the time, things are okay. But every once in a while, things are so awful, you can't believe it. <laughs> Depending on the threat level, Americans will be notified with a very short clip from a Nick Cage movie. Here are the latest examples. When everything's fine, the threat level will be named after Cage's action film, Next. <laughs> now, that means everything's fine. If something's slightly amiss, the threat level will be described as Vampire's Kiss. When things start to seem really bad, we set the alert level at matchstick men. This is an emergency. Hey, buddy, ever heard of a lie? Hey, have you ever been dragged to the sidewalk and being until you pissed blood? <laughs> and if things get to a point where they're just really, really getting bad, we set the alert to Zandali. And let's hope and pray <laughs> that in our lifetimes, we never experience the ultimate threat level, deadfall. Oscars for I that know. scene alone. The problem with saying that that's the one where you should like head to a bunker, like, I want to see more. Yeah, I know. I You're would not stay gonna... glued to whatever yeah. screen that was you on. You would never get to yeah. safety.